In 2020, people are creating more home office spaces than ever before. And with the surge in many home offices being created, there's that age old question, which is the best chair to get for your home office slash game room slash studio? Well, we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover gaming chairs versus office chairs, and we're gonna help you choose which one will help you work and play as hard as you want to, and which one will give you ergonomic advantages. And in this video, I'm gonna be making that choice as well, breaking it down, and we're gonna also choose a product. And again, if you like what we choose, we're gonna give you everything in this video to get it. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. My name is Melvin, AKA Dr. Money. Now, whether you are a workaholic, a digital entrepreneur, or you are a gamer, or someone who streams or hosts live events from your home, working long hours daily from your chair is a common occurrence. And many of you are confronted with a choice that you have to make. Which is the best chair I should get? Because some of you are being uncomfortable in your chair. Now, the idea of owning some swanky gaming chair has probably crossed your mind. And you're probably wondering, like, man, what is a gaming chair? The last gaming chair I bought was for my son, and it looked kind of out of place. Well, folks, gaming chairs have actually evolved, and there are some major ergonomic advantages to having one versus an office chair. And I'm going to kind of break down bit by bit and dissect this so you can actually make a better decision if you're looking for a chair to get for your home office or your studio. So let's dive in right now. And again, I'm making that choice myself because as you see, I'm in a chair now and it is uncomfortable as heck. And it has led me to making this video. And so I wanted to involve you guys in the process. So if you're in the same situation that I am, you can make an informed decision. Let's dive right in. Office chair, gaming chair. As a matter of fact, the two aren't interchangeable. Depending on your work or play style, one chair might be better than the other. In this video, we'll introduce you to what a gaming chair is and walk you through the gaming chair versus office chair debate so you can sit comfortable and in style. We're gonna talk about ergonomics. Now ergonomics, this will help you to arrive at the best choice for your comfort and your health. But there's more here than meets the eye when it comes down to breaking down the gaming chairs. So as her name would suggest, the first type of chair is a rocking gaming chair. These chairs are seats that rest on a little pod that sits on the floor and you can actually rock back and forth. These curved chairs are balanced on an angle where the seat meets the back so their position can change with ease. Your legs will rest on the ground when you're seated and these chairs are often most used with console video games that can be played at a distance and they're also great for multiplayer games that can be played with others in the room. So these are chairs that are considered great for an adult type of gamer that is just in a game room. The next chair is a floor gaming chair. Now floor gaming chairs are the least structured and the least inexpensive of all the gaming chair types and they range from semi-structured chairs that are similar in design to rocking chairs completely structureless and these chairs resemble a floor cushion so again they're super plush and they have padded chairs and have little to no extraneous features and they're excellent for casual console players generally these are more fit for kids or children or smaller individuals but to be honest with you i tried this and I can tell you right now, this is not anything I would ever consider because I bought one for my son and I sat in it. And as you see here, I just look so out of place and so uncomfortable. So no, this is not one that I am definitely going to even consider. The next chair is called a PC slash racing gaming chair. Because their seats are off the ground, PC and racing gaming chairs are the gaming chairs most commonly used for playing video games at the desk. And we're gonna show you why these ones are highly considered by many to be a great replacement office chair. And this is what we're gonna show you when we talk about gaming chairs versus office chairs because this is where it comes down 
to comfort and ergonomics. And this is what we are considering, what I am considering in using versus an office chair. So let's break this down. So when it comes down to chairs, obviously you do want to consider what your budget is and you want to get the most for your money. And a chair like this is something similar to what I have. And it reminds me of a job. As a matter of fact, I don't want anything that reminds me of a job because I'm a digital entrepreneur. But these chairs are just comfortable enough to work in, but they're not really good for long-term comfort. Many people who have these at a job have to get different cushions and different things. And so this is not ideal for a longer working environment in an office if you want to maintain long-term comfort because it does have a short kind of uh, back part and so it doesn't cover the whole back and you're going to see what I mean uh, this kind of gave me some back trouble and the chair I have is so similar and it doesn't have great ergonomics for everything I like to do here's a chair I'm currently sitting in as I turn my back to you as you see I don't have any higher back support I don't have any neck support and what happens is it puts a lot of pressure on the lower back to try to sit up like this so here's the next chair this is typically your big boss office chair. Like when you go into your office, you see your boss in this chair, and this chair is made to be comfortable, but is not made to move in it comfortable. It's not made to pivot. So I often have two computer screens, sometimes a laptop, and in many cases I may zoom or I may show some exuberance or excitement. So although this is comfortable, it is not made for a lot of movement or a lot of turning or a lot of uh, feel and then if I wanted to game on my PC, which sometimes I may do to take a break, then I don't feel like I'm in a gaming mode because I feel like too relaxed. So this chair, although comfortable, it's not really gonna work for me because it's not dynamic enough to go from business to streaming, to webinars, to Zoom, to live, to games, and it doesn't give me a lot of versatility. But again, it's comfortable and it may be you know, really good for most of you, but not really good for me. Now here are some key design elements found in most gaming chairs. You have bucket seats, you have raised front lip seats, you have fixed headrests, you have detachable lumber and head pillows, you have winged backrests, you have a high level of back recline, you also have highly adjustable armrests, and you have flashy colors. These things will look absolutely awesome when you are sporting these things on a live stream or something like that. So there are some really cool, unique things about gaming chairs. And so now that you've been educated about gaming chairs, let's talk a little bit about the ergonomics and why they are designed the way they are. Here's something that you may not understand about gaming chairs. Did you know that gaming chairs were designed after luxury sports car seats? And many chairs have the flashy look of a race car with bright accent colors, embroidered symbols, and these chairs adopt a bucket seat design where the two sides are raised inspired by racing car seats and sure it looks cool but you're probably wondering what practical function does this actually serve in your room as far as comfort or ergonomics well in a moving vehicle bucket seats help secure the driver as his or her body shifts from left to right but as a person who is streaming or giving webinars or even a gamer your body will seldom be moving sideways. So it would seem that the whole basis for bucket seats and gaming chairs is simply for optics. Well, they not only give the illusion of a seat that cradles you, but the feeling of sitting in an F1 racing car as you race the streets of LA in the latest Need for Speed game, or if you are exuberant and you're giving a great webinar and you wanna feel that rush of just kinda of getting excitement, and for this, it can be an important factor. If anything, it helps raise your emotions and push you closer in the scene, and that should be taken into consideration when you're talking about the feel of excitement of having a great chair. So when it comes down to a deciding factor when going gaming chair versus office chair, one of the things that made me decide that I am going to go with a gaming chair is the fact that the gaming chair have high backs, while office chairs are a bit more low profile, Plus the whole thing of having a bucket seat and being able to do high functions, move around, go to my screens and everything and kind of be tightly in the seat, but also have that functional comfort, not the comfort that makes me want to go to sleep, but productive comfort where I can do things for a long period of time. So with that said, I've actually found a great gaming chair. A lot of gaming chairs, they're not catered towards individuals who are a big frame. So my frame, basically, I'm 6'1", about 315 pounds. And 
Me getting in a little light gaming chair won't work, so I had to find one that is comfortable for my frame. And so you kind of get an idea of my size. And if you're within that 250 to 300 range, I got a perfect chair that's picked out. And if you're a little smaller, this one will still be great. And again, you have to judge by your body size, but I've sat in a ton of these things and I sat in one that just felt like a dream. And I'm gonna share that one with you today. Okay, so I have found some gaming chairs that are not only affordable, but also have great quality and provide that ergonomic feel that you're looking for. Now, I have many different gaming chairs that I found that are gonna be on my website, but this one in particular, I had an amazing deal on and I'm gonna get that deal shared to you. What if I told you you can get 80 bucks back in your pocket when you purchase this one and we can get your free shipping from the supplier? Well, folks, I'm gonna let you know who the supplier is after we do this, but what I have here is the Vortex Gaming Chair by Emerge. And again, this is a great gaming chair. I had a chance to sit in it before it came and it was awesome, it felt great. And it is able to support someone of my size. So if you're between 6'1", 6'2", between 250 and two, or let's say 300, then this will be perfect for you and it will give you the feel that you need. So let's unbox this thing, jump into it, and once we do that, we're gonna sit in it and I'm gonna tell you exactly how it feels. So this is the official unboxing. Okay, now I have this thing unboxed. Let's see if we can put this together and let's not take all day to do it. So I'm actually going to go into Speedy Gonzalez mode and throw this thing together in like 30 seconds. And there she is, all completed, all put together. And I gotta tell you, the material was very high quality. Nothing felt really cheap about this chair, so I know it's definitely gonna hold up. And again, it just looks amazing. So now it's time to sit in this thing and see what it feels like. Okay, it is time to inspect my work. Let's see how this thing feels. Yeah, it's really good quality. Let me sit. If it doesn't break, I'm good. Oh, it didn't break. Great, great. Oh, it feels so great to just have back support. Let me just spin around this thing. Yeah, no noise, no anything. It is really, really solid. And let's check out these armrests. So I can pull these up. And again, you can have more space to have your arms come out wide. Or if you just want to pull them back down, they go down really easy. And again, I can drop this thing really easy. And have a comfortable feel, so it feels great to have that back support. So yes, this chair is absolutely awesome. Okay, as you can see, we're back in my office, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this chair, especially the back support, as you see I'm in it right now, and hey, it matches my wall. Well, a bag of Skittles would match my wall, but anyway, this is a great chair, and so what I've done, if you wanna get this chair, there is a great, great deal on this chair that I was able to get exclusively with uh, this company. And again, if you wanna find out the company and where to get this chair at, then click the link below. You're gonna find out where it's at and I'm gonna put the link there so you can order it. When you order through that link, you're gonna get $80 off the original price of the chair. You're gonna also get free shipping. So I pull a lot of strings with this huge brand that does this and you guys will be very familiar with who they are. Also, just in case you didn't want this particular chair, I have put the link below to other chairs that are similar and gave you a lot of choices. And again, these are some of the top chairs that have great reviews. So again, visit the website, check out everything that's on there. And that website will be the website that I do all my product reviews on. So if you wanna know where I get a particular thing or you like something I'm using, 
I will be posting all of my reviews right there for you. So with that said, folks, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and get yourself an amazing chair to do your work or play. I'll see you in the next video.